Good afternoon. I am not Ashton Graham, and I am not Shiloh Harris, but this is the KES News. What's for lunch? <laughs> for lunch on Thursday, we will be having chicken drumstick with whole grain roll, fresh bell peppers and tomatoes, creamy mashed potatoes, outrageous orange slices, and 100% fruit juice. Classes with perfect attendance today in kindergarten, Miss Beletska, Miss Goodman, Miss Graham, and Miss Rice. In first grade, Miss Peterson, Miss Stevens, and Miss Wallace. Miss Wallace, six straight days. In second grade, Miss Bassett and Miss Kinney. In third grade, Miss Cruz, Miss Holder, Mr. McCoy, and Miss Piner. In fourth grade, Miss Hess, her fifth straight day, and also Miss Nix. In fifth grade, Miss Chupp, Miss Hester, also her fifth straight day. Miss Hickson and Miss McCraw, also Miss Mays and Miss Hopkins had Dr. Mays and Miss Hopkins had perfect attendance. Congratulations to those classes with perfect attendance. Okay, this week is still practicing to get back in the swing of things as we make changes in our cafeteria. But remember, we will be looking for cafeteria behavior, being responsible in the cafeteria and doing your four jobs. One, eating your lunch. Two, staying quiet and talking quietly to the people at your table. Three, staying in your seat. And four, cleaning up. Um, that includes how you put your tray up. So let's be working on those four um, uh, different um, thing, responsibilities in our cafeteria. And we will be starting to recognize classes for outstanding uh, responsibility in the cafeteria next week. Do you have some announcements for students and parents that are coming up? Uh, January 23rd, January 24th, and January 26th are our next PACT meetings. Remember, PACT is a wonderful opportunity for parents to come into the school, learn what the kids, what your kids are doing well, um, what they're learning, and not only are they going to see where they are, where they need to be, and they're going to leave with resources that will help them support you um, over the next six weeks. So our next PACT meeting for kindergarten and first grade is January 23rd. For second and third grade, it is January 24th. And for fourth and fifth grade, it is January 26th. These meetings will start at 530 and they should be done by 645. We will have prizes for um, the class that has the highest percentage. We will also have prizes for every, well, we have prizes available. Not everyone's going to get one. But everyone has the chance to win um, a prize for when they attend the PAC meeting. We will be giving away gas cards, um, one per night, or I'm sorry, one or two per night um, to parents that are here um, if their name gets drawn. So please uh, encourage your parents to come to the PAC meetings. These are extremely important um, for us to make sure that the parents know exactly what they need to do to help you be successful. So we encourage you to see our PAC meeting. All right, I have uh, challenged. Um, myself and I've also challenged the teachers and the students. Um, my New Year's resolution was to try to be awesome and awesome is um, exceedingly excellent and something that brings awe to people amazement. So that's what I, my challenge is and I'm seeing some examples of people being awesome each and every day and one example that I saw today um, was in the cafeteria and I was eating lunch and I heard a teacher who's just being awesome. Miss Bell now, she sits um, before she leaves her kids, a couple of things that she does is she goes over what the rules are and what they are going to do. Not what should they not be doing, but what are they going to do. And what she says is, what's rule number one? What are we going to do? And then they say, we're going to eat our lunch. What's rule number two? What are we going to do? And they say, we're going to talk quietly at our table. And she says, what's rule number three? What are we going to do? And she says, these kids say, we are going to stay in our seats. And what's rule number four? What are we going to do? And what she, the kids say is, we are going to clean up. So that's what they're doing. Not are they saying, what do we don't do? They're doing it in a positive, awesome way. They're saying what they are going to do. And I think that's something really awesome. So congratulations, uh, Ms. Belknap. Thank you, Ms. Belknap, for being awesome. Thank you, Ms. Belknap's class, for being awesome. And it really is paying off. I really do appreciate it. Final announcement today, we want to congratulate our spelling bee. Hopefully you guys watched it. It was a good spelling bee, 27 rounds. And we have a champion, and that is Tristan Keefe in fifth grade. And our runner-up was Autumn Mattily. Tristan will participate in the county spelling bee in February, and we are very proud of him. 
very proud of Autumn, our, our um, runner-up, and very proud of all 20 of our participants today. You guys did a great job, and we're really proud. Also, thank you, Miss D and Miss Hall for setting it up. Thank you, Mr. Vickers, for being the caller. Thank you, Miss Donaldson, Miss Sorrells, and Mr. Meadows for being our judges. Congratulations, Tristan. We're really, really proud of you. Awesome job. In the year 2024, or whatever year you graduated, because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduation, you are fully committed to student success. School buses to come to the gym. When you come to the gym, you need to walk on the right side of the hall and be silent. When you get to the gym, you need to sit at your grade level rows, yours, not your brother's, sister's, or anybody else's. If you are a bus, uh, if you are a bus rider, you need to pay attention to your to the announcements so that you can hear your so you can hear your bus being called. When your bus is called, please make sure that you go straight to your bus. Only your bus also make sure you walk on the right side of the hall and you are silent please make sure you pay attention so you don't miss your bus we're serious yes we are i'm ashton grimm aka batman I'm Shadow, a.k.a. Superman, and that was the KS News. See ya!